Hi, this is cybersecurity expert Reginald Andre, and my video topic today is how to protect your Office 365 from hackers. Now, even if you don't use Microsoft 365 for your emails, for your business, that doesn't mean that this video won't be useful because um, Microsoft just happens to be the biggest player in the game. Just to give you some statistics, they have 258 million active users on their email platform. 91% uh, of Fortune 100 companies use them, and almost 48% of small businesses use Office 365 for businesses, so that's almost half. So um, because they are the biggest player, we're focusing on Office 365, but that doesn't mean that these five tips that I'm gonna be giving you uh, won't apply to you. So let's get started on the five ways to make sure that your emails are locked and you keep hackers out. So the first and biggest thing is to form factor authentication. With what's happening now with um, passwords being um, hacked and accounts being hacked, there's something called two form factor authentication, which is what protects you from someone getting access to your account. Perfect example is if someone was able to get um, your email password and they tried to log into your online email account, let's just say michelle at abccorp.com, and then the password, what would then happen is with the two form factor authentication turned on, you'll get a message on your cell phone. And that cell phone message is gonna be either a text message or what is called an authenticator app. And from there, you're gonna to have to type in the six digit code. And because the hackers don't have your phone, they're not gonna be able to know what that code is. And therefore, it automatically locked them out. The second thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna protect your password. Whatever your email password is, you should not be using it for anything else. Unfortunately, the statistics show that nine out of 10 people reuse their passwords. So that means that if you had an online account that got hacked, the first thing that the hackers are gonna do is take that username, take that password, and they're gonna go, um, because there's ways to know what, your, what service your email is from. For example, if you have, again, going back to ABC Corp, the hackers have a way to know if that email is being hosted with Microsoft, with GoDaddy, with uh, Google, Gmail, they can know. And what they're gonna then do is go to, go to that online portal and they're, go, uh, they're going to attempt to use that username and password that you, you're you using somewhere else to try to get in. And hence, this is why you should have two four factor authentication, but just to add another layer of security, you should also not reuse your password. The third thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna avoid phishing scams. And phishing scams is essentially a a way for bad guys to trick you to clicking on a link. And when you click on this link, it's gonna take you to a website that's gonna look just like an Office 365 login, just like a Gmail login. And the um, goal for them is to then have you uh, put in your username and password, because as soon as you send it to them, the bad guy, they're gonna then try to go into your email account and then um, be able to read all your emails, your SharePoint, your Microsoft Teams, your documents that you store online. The fourth thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is protect your apps. It's very important that whatever you're using to um, sign in, like for example, a lot of times when you're setting up a new account, you'll see that the developers will actually, or the website company will actually have a way to sign in very easily by just sign in with your Facebook account, sign in with your Office 365 account, sign in with your Google account. And if this app is not a credible app and they have a security breach, there is a possibility that the bad guys can get your login information from that breach. So it's very important who you're actually, um, a what kind of apps you're putting on your phone or your computer and also um, how you're logging in. So if it's a company that is not a, and I would even say, forget if it's a company. Yes, it's convenient to do the single sign-on in these cases, but there's also a lot of vulnerability. So I would actually encourage you to just create a separate username, a separate login, and make sure that that password is not used multiple places, that that, that password is used once. And the last thing is make it easy to recover your account. So um, let's just say, for example, that you forgot your password. 
what happens you would go to your um, login account you would then do forgot password and from there it's going to ask you a series of questions it may ask you your pet's name it may ask you um, um, what city you grew up in, whatever your, your security questions. So you don't want to make it easy uh, for bad guys to get into your account. You also want to do what is called a recovery email. And but however, the recovery email should be an account that is also secure because we are now getting reports where the bad guys are able to get into both uh, your, they don't, they can't make, get access to your main email but they have access to your recovery email. So what they're doing is they're going to your, for example, 365 account, they're clicking on forgot password, and then the next thing it's gonna ask is recovery email. And because they know your Yahoo password, they know your Gmail password, they're gonna go ahead and send it to that email. And then from there, that's how they're able to get in. So it's kind of like, it's just like a little back door um, of them getting in. So these are the five tips that you should do to protect your Microsoft Office 365 account right now. Um, this is a channel that is giving information um, in regards to information technology and cybersecurity. So if you did enjoy um, what you heard and um, you feel that this is something that you can apply tomorrow, because that is the point of this video, I want you to go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please um, subscribe. So that way, when we do have new videos coming out, You'll be the first one to know and get the information from us. Thank you.